Well, still a lot of unanswered questions tonight about the death of a Roy woman who was shot and killed over the weekend. Her boyfriend admitting to the shooting, claiming self-defense. New specialist Ashley Moser in Riverdale with the latest on this investigation. Mike, tonight we know the name of the man who shot Jen Emanuel. Her boyfriend, 41-year-old Scott Sandlin, he claims self-defense, has not been arrested in this case. Investigators here at Riverdale City Police Department not releasing much else about the circumstances, what led up to the shooting, how many shots were fired. Those are all questions that Jenna's family has tonight. I keep thinking I'm going to go home and go to sleep one day and it's going to be a big dream and it's, yes. it's not because I see reality here. A mother still in shock as she tries to understand what happened to her daughter Sunday night. Her mind still replaying the moment police gave her the tragic news. And then they told us that um, Jenna was gone and I said what do you mean she's gone gone where and they said no Jenna your daughter Jenna is dead. Riverdale police say they received a 911 call just before 11 p.m. Sunday from Scott Scanlon reporting he'd shot his girlfriend, who was armed with a knife, in self-defense. Police still investigating the case as family and friends of the 30-year-old single mother of one gathered for a vigil tonight. It's a tragedy and we will never get over it, never. The group focusing on her life not her death and the many questions that remain. She was my friend, my daughter, and we're going to miss her. Family of Jen Emanuel will be holding a viewing on Monday. They say no matter what happened in this situation, they want the community to remember her as the bright young mother she was. Reporting from Riverdale, Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News. Back to you. Ashley